See if I can uh, get used to it. Welcome back to another drifting video. So on here we oh, got a new children's help the AME, AMC Pacer D class. Let's see how this goes. Well, I, I just think if I put oh. uh, if I just don't front, it's just got stock tire with front front that. So I reckon if I put the widest ones on, like what's on rear. It may be better for you for stopping. Yeah. You still there, Dan? Yeah, I'm still there. Yeah. Well, you got stuck on your fucking pit again or something, so you're right quiet. You started rustling. <laughs> no, I was scratching my belly. <laughs> I'm telling you, Richard. Come on, car. Get out of my fucking way. Come on. Get out of my way. Well, yeah, on straight, if you're just wiggling it out straight, as soon as you put it into the fifth, it's just gone. Well, I'm trying to stop for this bottom corner. <laughs> I love this little D-class car. Probably one of my oh, most favourite cars on game now. It does drift surprisingly well and it gets good points as well. You say it's a D-class. Well, I'm just trying to keep this on the track. <laughs> They're in second. You're doing well with it. Too fast, too fast. <laughs> It told you it picks up speed quick, didn't it, that car? Yeah, but it, it's stopping it for these bloody corners. Because you need to just slide it sideways and just hold your handbrake on and just keep the back end going sideways for ages. Oh, but, trust me, I'm trying that. Because on that straight, what, you just come down with big bend at the bottom. If you start it, like, near enough halfway down straight at speed, you can just keep it going sideways with just handbrake on. And still make that bend. No. Oh, you can. Oh. I'm getting more smoke off the front wheels trying to turn around the corner than I am <laughs> off the back. You will because it's biscuit tyres on and we are having ABS on as well. It would constantly just be gripping up all the time. Because we are normally having a brake set up like that. Even just a slightest touch of your brakes, it locks your wheels up. Well, nobody's got to overtake me yet. They don't First that, car on map. <laughs> you will be in that car. It's not many people can keep up with it. That's why I'm always at front of packing it. Oh! 
number 15 gone. I'm guessing I'm not actually noticing how fast I'm actually drifting them. You don't in that car. 150 mile an hour in that feels like 50 mile an hour in any other car. You know, I've just noticed I am doing literally... Oh, no! Back again. I'm pissed will be dead. Yeah, I will literally do it at 140 miles an hour. Yeah. Because of how the car's set up, it doesn't feel like you're doing that speed. Why the hell was I in second gear then? First and second gear on that car is pretty much redundant. Um, if you can clutch pop it, fourth gear will do every, just about every corner. If you can't clutch pop it, um, may need to drop down to third, but be very rare. Oh, it's another 12k gone. I just gone around the corner in second gear and it's just like just died on me. I had to go all the way down to first. <laughs> I'm like, what's fucking happening here? I must be at like half a lap in front of everybody. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see her on map. So I'm just going around that little U-bend on the other side of the map. <laughs> now you know why I'm always in front in that car, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Because with that, with that car you can probably go around the corners 20 to 30 mile an hour quicker than what you can in any other car. You can just absolutely... Third place! Out of four! <laughs> <laughs> oh. And you got beat by D-Class. <laughs> I don't care, I'm on podium. <laughs> <laughs> Way! Maybe blue suit. <laughs> 